Bed Wars is a very popular game mode that's played throughout Minecraft. Around 10 to 20,000 players are centered around this game mode every single day. With that said, it's also very important to have a good game as for Bed Wars in order to compete and to beat other players. So that's why in this video, I'll be going over the top 5 best budget mice for Bed Wars. These mice will specifically be good for double clicking, jitter clicking, butterfly clicking, and drag clicking. And since Bed Wars heavily relies on a person's playstyle and the clicking methods that they prefer, all the mice that we'll be going over today will fit into the varieties of opinions. And for those of you that are on a low budget, I'll make sure that every mouse displayed in this video is under $50. It'd also mean the world to me if you guys could like and subscribe because it really helps the channel and we're getting closer and closer to 4,000 subscribers. And also feel free to join my Discord server, we are a very friendly community, so come join us for a quick talk. I'll put the link down in the description below if you guys want to check it out. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Taking spot at number 5 on our list, we have the Corsair Cat Art Pro XT. The Cat Art Pro is a pretty underrated mouse and it isn't heard of very often inside of the Bedwars community. But for all of its features, I think this mouse deserves way more recognition. On Amazon, you can find the Cat Art Pro for only $30. And if you want the wireless version of the mouse, then just add 10 more dollars to your budget. The Cat Art Pro is mostly known for its drag clicking capabilities, but it can also jitter click, butterfly click, and double click really well too. For jitter clicking, the Cat Art Pro can achieve up to 12 to 14 CPS. For butterfly clicking, the Cat Art Pro can achieve up to 20 CPS. For short dragging, 15 to 20 CPS. And for long dragging, up to 50 CPS. The Cat Art Pro also has many special features, including its light rounded switches. With its light rounded switches, almost every single clicking method are effortless on this mouse. The Cat Art Pro is also really light, weighing at 69 grams. The only downside that I can see to this mouse is that it usually fits people with small or medium sized hands. But other than that, if you are on a low budget and you're looking for a good gaming mouse for Bedwars, then the Cat Art Pro would definitely be the way to go. I'll now play some clips of people playing Bedwars with this mouse. Coming in at number 4 on our list, we have the MM710 Cooler Master. The MM710 isn't completely considered a budget mouse, but it still hangs on on our list, costing at $45 depending on where you live. The MM710 is a well-rounded Minecraft mouse, and it's basically the same thing as the Model O, but cheaper. Comparing the two mice, the shape, the honeycomb holes on the back, and the switches are basically identical to each other. The MM710 is mostly known for how well it drag clicks, but it is also good for other clicking methods as well. The MM710 can also double click, jitter click, and even butterfly click. For jitter clicking, the MM710 can get around 12 to 14 CPS. For butterfly clicking, the MM710 can get up to 25 CPS. Short dragging, 15 to 20 CPS, and for long dragging, up to 50 CPS. Being able to do all these clicking methods, it makes the MM710 a really good mouse for bedwars. Another positive feature to the MM710 is that it uses Omron switches. And since it uses Omron switches, it makes it way easier to butterfly click and jitter click on. The mouse also has a very comfortable design for your hand, which also provides a better grip. The MM710 also weighs at 53 grams, which is even lighter than the Model O itself. The sensor used on the MM710 is also pretty good, and it can go up to 16,000 DPI. Other than that, I can't really find a downside to this mouse because it's extremely good for the budget of only $45. So if you are looking for a decent mouse for Bedwars, then this mouse would definitely be an option. I'll now place a few clips of people playing Bedwars with this mouse. Lazy. Because it probably is. Oh, you didn't even... <laughs> Complete your bed defense. I got a million particles. Okay, game. I see how it is. <laughs> I'm holding the number base, by the way. Yeah. Taking spot at number 3 on our list, we have the HyperX Pulsefire Haste. The Pulsefire Haste is a well-rounded Minecraft mouse costing just under $50 on Amazon. The Pulsefire Haste can do basically any clicking method really well, which includes jitter clicking, butterfly clicking, double clicking, and drag clicking. 
For jitter clicking, the pulsifier haze can achieve up to 15 CPS. For butterfly clicking, the pulsifier haze can get around 20 to 26 CPS. For short dragging, it can get around 15 to 25 CPS. And for long dragging, up to 40 CPS. The pulsifier haze can also triple click and even quad click. Being able to do all these clicking methods really well, it makes the pulsifier haze an even better mouse for bedwars. But just remember to download the software for this mouse if you do want it to double click. The switches used on the haste are on the light rounded side, which makes it really easy to do basically any clicking method on. The pulse fire haste is also really light, weighing at 59 grams, which makes it really easy to move your mouse around in bedwars. The only downside that I can see to this mouse is that it usually fits people with medium to large sized hands. But if you do have the budget of around $50, then I'd highly recommend this mouse for bedwars. I'll now place a few clips of people playing Bedwars with this mouse. Coming in at number 2 on our list, we have the glorious Model O. The Model O is a top pick for many Minecrafters inside of the Bedwars community. Because of all of its special features, it makes the Model O one of the best mice for Bedwars in the market as of right now. Depending on where you buy it from, you can find the Model O from a range of $45 to $60. For clicking methods, the Model O can do basically all of them which includes double clicking, jitter clicking, butterfly clicking, and drag clicking. For jitter clicking, the Model O can get around 13 CPS. For butterfly clicking, the Model O can get around 22 to 26 CPS. For short dragging, the Model O can get around 15 to 25 CPS, and for long dragging, up to 50 CPS. A really positive feature to this mouse is that the software that comes with it has an adjustable debounce timer. This means that you can change it at any time to make it be able to double click. And being able to do all of these clicking methods really well, it makes the Model O an even better mouse for bedwars. Just like the MM710 Cooler Master, the switches used on the Model O are Omron switches, which are on the light rounded side. This means that most clicking methods will be effortless on this mouse. The Model O is also pretty light, weighing at 67 grams. And also note that the other versions of the Glorious family are also good for bedwars. I'll put the alternatives on the screen right now. But overall, if you do have the budget of around $50, then I'd highly recommend this mouse for bedwars. And now place a few clips of people playing bedwars with this mouse. Dude, how does that still work, man? No, no, no. How does that still work? I don't know how that still works. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, wait. Ho, oh, we close it. Wait. Ho, oh, where? Yo, yo. Oh, God. Let's get this bed. All right, there we go. One person down. Just before we get into the number 1 spawn on this list, I just wanted to add some honorable mentions. These mice are also really good for bedwars, it's just that some of these mice exceed the budget of $50. I won't be going in much detail about all of these mice, so I do recommend for you to do your own research if you are planning to buy one. For honorable mention number 5, we have the Rocat Cone XTD. This mouse is really good for Minecraft, it's just that it's pretty expensive. You can also see many famous YouTubers using this mouse. For Arnold mention number 4, we have the Rocat Cone EMP. Just like the Rocat Cone XTD, the Rocat Cone EMP is pretty expensive. But not only is it expensive, it's also not being made anymore. So it might be hard for you to find this mouse in most stores. For Arnold mention number 3, we have the Logitech G Pro Wireless. The G Pro Wireless is a good mouse for people that like jitter clicking for bedwars and PvP. I wouldn't really recommend this mouse for you if you like butterfly clicking in bedwars because it cannot double click. But otherwise, for just jitter clicking, this mouse is really good. For honorable mention number 2, we have the Logitech G Pro X Super Light. Just like the G Pro Wireless, the G Pro X Super Light cannot double click. So I'd only recommend this mouse for you if you like jitter clicking. And finally, for honorable mention number 1, we have the Rokat Kane 100, the Rokat Kane 120, and the Rokat Kane 102. All of these mice are basically the same thing, it's just that they're different models. But besides that, they're extremely good for Minecraft. I would definitely recommend these mice for you if you can get a hold of them for under $60. But overall, all these mice in the armor mentions are good for bedwars, so if you do have the budget to buy them, then I would highly encourage you to do so. Finally, for number 1 on our list, we have the Rokat Comp Pro Air. The Rokat Comp Pro Air is one of the best mice for overall Minecraft. 
Considering all of its special features, it makes the Rokai Comb Pro Air one of the best mice for bedwars. The original retail price for the Comb Pro was around $50 but at the time of recording this video, some prices have skyrocketed. I would only recommend for you to buy this mouse if you can find it under $80. The Rokai Comb Pro Air can double click, jitter click, butterfly click, and even drag click. For jitter clicking, the Comb Pro can get around 14 CPS. For butterfly clicking, the Comb Pro Air can get around 20 to 26 CPS. For short dragging, around 15 to 25 CPS. And for long dragging, over 100 CPS. The reason for why you can get crazy high CPS on the Comb Pro Air is because you're able to change the debounce timer to zero in the software. And being able to have a zero debounce timer, it also allows the Comb Pro to triple click and even quad click at times. The switches used on the Comb Pro are also on the light rounded side, which makes it really easy to do basically every single clicking method. The Comb Pro Air also weighs at 75 grams, which is considered average for a mouse these days. The shape and design of the Comb Pro is very comfortable to hold in your hands, and it also provides a better grip. Overall, I can't really find a downside to this mouse because it's really good. So if you can find this mouse for under $80, then I would highly recommend this mouse for you. I'll now place a few clips of people playing Bedwars with this mouse. Okay, Pink is really mad. Calm down, guys. Calm down, Pink. There's no need to be so extra. Alright guys, that's basically it for this video. I hope this video helped you to find out the best mouse for Bedwars. Just keep in mind that there are many different options of mice, and I just went into my top 5 picks today. If you think you didn't find the right mouse for you, I have also made tons of other videos for the different clicking methods. Just go over to my channel and look for the video you want. But overall, if this video did end up helping you out, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe because it really motivates me to make more of these videos. And if you do have any further questions regarding to the mice displayed today, feel free to drop a comment down below or join my discord server where anyone can help to answer your question. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Your side.